Me myself, I don't watch this video more than 10 times. Me could I just say waiting. This Nigerian man, they tell the present governor of Imo State, Governor Hope Uzodima, for this viral video. If you come across this video, I beg. Make will not share this video. Go where the present governor of Imo State day. Make will not allow Governor Hope Uzodima, His Excellency, to see this video because <laughs> since when they brought me up to this age, waiting this Nigerian man. <laughs> They talk for inside this video. I never heard that before for my life. Make gonna spread the video. Make other Nigerians see everything at the end. And I remember. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, right from uh, his election and uh, before his election, people that knew him, whom he was. Open and use them started from local 419. That is a uh, advanced few, frost star locally, and he graduated into international one. 90s there are many accolades i mean uh, 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 accomplice you know he worked with in the past which i could not i cannot mention their name here for security reason from that he delved into federal agency or machinery machinery he worked with babangida he worked with the former administration of uh, the former head of state buhari 1983 uh, 8485. Then they work with Abacha. Pope Uzodimba actually work with Baba Sanjo. I'm telling you that during Jonathan regime, Hope Uzodimba was there. Virtually every administration that came and go, Hope knows about it. And he always aligned with the North. And during the election of 2019, I think, yeah, 2019. Yes, 2019 or 2021 or 2020. Hope Uzodimba did his homework well. Do you know what he did? After Meku Hodiola, under PDP, won an election. Hope Uzodima paid him visit. <laughs> Smiling. A very dangerous man. Paying his brother that was victorious in that election visit after embracing him. He did, he did what? Mm, take it. At the back, he went and used his cutlass, matchet, and cut Meku Hodiola leg. Two legs. Meku Hodiola can do what? Hodiola did what? He stooped down before Hope Uzodima. That is the game that we are seeing. We are seeing today in Imo State. Hope Zadema is the Fulani governor. He was made governor of Imo State by the then late chief of uh, uh, staff, Abakiari, of all Fulani people, not all, all Nigerian people. Abakiari was the one that made Hope governor of Imo State under that Spring Court. Spring Court governor, Hope Zadema. He stopped him beside, it wasn't beside store. In Imo State, the then Obowo man, that is the weeping governor, may he so rest in peace. What is that his name? The weeping governor. The name of the former governor that was weeping. Elias Ekweme, no. Samun Bakwe. Samun Bakwe was the last person from the axis of the person that ruled Imo State. Sam Bakwe. The last. The rest is from Olu. 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 Mbano. Olu. Oh, Hakim is from Olu, uh, from Mbano, sorry. Oh, Hakim. Oh, Hakim. is from Olu. There are many of them from Olu. It was not Bissess Tom, and actually the whole Imolite came out and gave him their support. Today, Pope Ozadimba truncated that attempt, that move, to allow Owere, Owere, that is in Bissess people. He used Flani, his Flani, Masters and stop or uh, 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 this man uh, uh, making her mandates. He was stolen, he stole it using his flanny masters. And today, that was what brought about militarization of southeastern Nigeria because the Ebos, the Emolites, they could not endure, they could not be that subtle or chameleonic to dance to the costume of a wicked fraud star like Hope. Allegedly, he was allegedly to be one of the 419ers in the 90s. It's an allegation which we can even actually substantiate because after his tenure expires in Imo State, you will see how much his administration has at least extrajudicially gulped in Imo State. What are we seeing there as social infrastructures and facilities? None. But he still remains a governor. Second time, on his second coming, 
He won the whole 27 local government. Anamano, featured. The whole 27 local government. Their men, their, their children, their husbands were being killed during the first administration. Fulanis were shooting. Federal government, federal military, military forces were invited. The first military onslaught in Igbo land. They were invited by Hope Uzadima. And today, what are we saying? Hope has graduated from political, politically annihilating the Imos, Imolites, to what? Inviting ID camp, internally displaced people camp, into a human banner. What a tragedy. No wonder Flani, uh, Chinova Achebe said in one of his books, men are always the cause of their tragedy. If Flani could colonize Imo State, what is it that Hope Uzanima and his family benefit? Tragedy. Nightmare. Total annihilation. Extermination of his kinsmen. Could that be a benefit? Could that be any gain on the basis of benevolence? See, let me tell you. Hope Uzanima is at least breeding the bad blood. Bone of contentions growing on daily basis in Imo State. Just was in Enugu, he said that uh, uh, Igos are dear to Tulubu's ad administration. Shetima was in Enugu. Mm -hmm. He said Igos are dear to Tulubu's ad administration. Uh -huh. what, do, what do you expect him to say? The beneficiary Igos. The Igos that are benefiting from this regime. They are there for Tulubu now. So they don't know, like the South East. Uh -huh. They are catching out now because... South Easterners. South Easterners, the political beneficiaries. I don't mean South Easterners as in ordinary Igbo man. The Igbos is talking about that idea for Tinubu are those politicians, the beneficiaries of this killing regime. A regime that has not favored anybody. A regime that does not favor Yoruba man. A regime that does not favor Aosa man. A regime that has been killing and bringing down Nande Kanu, who is incarcerated for over 48 months now. A regime that is first due for everybody in Nigeria. A regime that has made us suffer the worst thing, the privation ever in history of any Nigerian president. Igbos are there for Tinubu. Who are those Igbos? You mean Atazes? You mean Popus Adema? Peter Mba? They are there. Ojo Zokalu? They are there. What are you saying? Igbos are there for him now. Those are the beneficiaries of this evil regime. A regime that has brought down many common people, sending them to their early graves. What are you saying? Igbos are there for him. Eh? And then there are many Igbos that are there for him. They are all politicians, political vultures. Yes, catching out at the detriment of the Igbos, at the detriment of the Yorubas and the Hausas. They are the political beneficiaries. They don't care how far they have gone to die on daily basis. The politicians don't care how far they have gone to make sure that they bring every Nigerian down based on how they steal our money, our common wealth on daily basis. Yes, laundry money in billions, using Ghana must go, sharing it among all the traditional rulers, sharing the money among all their thoughts to stop people's at least civic rights from manifestation. What are you saying? Understand what I'm saying? They are there to make sure that you and I are going down on daily basis. The Igbos are there. Who are those Igbos that are there? Go and check their families. Go and check their previous records and their antecedents. Who are those Igbos that are, that, that are there for Tinubu? Check their records. Original Igbo, Abidu Bios Igbo. Where you have dubious uh, original, you have many fakes. They are there for him. Are you, are you not concerned about Anambra State? APC taking over Anambra State? Anambra State. If APC like, APC to swallow, swallow Anambra State. There is an adage I have here. Have you ever seen a python? A python that has swallow, swallowed cow. It does not move from here to there. It will stay there. APC to go. They should not only take over Anambra State. They should swallow Anambra State. You know what? Nigeria is a place whereby criminals are celebrated. Nigeria is a place whereby people, civilians, that don't know what is here, enthrone injustice and illiteracy. Nigeria is a country whereby roguery, 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 thievery, are being celebrated. 
by daft d-a-f-t-s as a result of lack of knowledge there are many things going on politically in nigeria out of what quackery out of what ignore ignominy yes that's what i'm saying soludo can never ever work with good people is soludo himself a good man since inception of soludo regime go to anambra state and see by yourself the scorecard is here is there Obi outsmarted, outscored Soludo one million times. What I say? Obi outsmarted. Out, outsmarted, outscored Solu, Soludo's achievements by many, with many, many records, many achievements. Soludo is nowhere to be found when you, we are trying to compare him to Obi. What are we saying? If ABC like, that you can take my community. My community is there. But after a python swallow cow or huge animals, does it move? It doesn't move an inch. Agba Nihonolu, yeah, no. Snake that swallows big what? Food. Food, big what? Fry. Eh? Fry, Abby. It doesn't move an inch. It will swallow it there. Okay, let me tell you. Anambra State is a cooked egg. We are cooked eggs. One snake swallows cooked eggs. It doesn't move an inch. Snake will stay there. You will be touching his head. You will be begging snake to bite you. It won't bite you. Because it has swallowed cooked egg. It's an experience. So cook your egg. Leave it for black mamba to swallow. Or python. After swallowing it, python will stay there. The egg will be inside the stomach. You will see the egg one by one. They want, they, they want, they want to take... They want to take uh, uh, Anambra State. Okay, Anambra State. We are cooked eggs. Any snack, any snack that swallows cooked egg, cooked eggs, cooked eggs cannot move an inch. It's made there. It stay there. Okay, to stay there, it doesn't go anywhere. When Soludo came into power, I look at him, an ugly man. Something was some spirit of God was telling me something that Soludo will not do anything. And actually, Soludo is there to celebrate what? Mockery. Quackery. Lack of achievement. Former CBN governor. Bad performances. Former CBN governor to the moon. Thank you for watching that video. So, guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform you will be the first to see it and don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on facebook whatsapp and instagram and also on youtube so that everyone out there will see this video so guys see you guys some other time